Okay, this video, I am making a whole house fan, like a uh, attic fan, placed in a window to save expense. I will be using uh, two 20 inch box fans from Lesco and placing it in the window. And the purpose is for cooling, to suck the heat out of the house at night and cool the house down. I've got an old 1967 house with the uh, awning crank out type windows. And it does have central heat and air, but I'm just trying to be thrifty for an alternative to uh, air conditioning. Uh, the uh, box fans draw or push about 2,000 cubic feet per minute. And when you do the calculations on my home, I can put two box fans in this window and circulate the air. And being the awning crank window, what my plan is is I can just put it on the inside of this window it'll have screen it currently doesn't that that windows that window exits to an outside porch where there is a storage area which obviously I need to do a little bit of clean up around this window to be able to open it but it does open so again now what I've done is I have already purchased two box fans and I already cut a piece of plywood to fit that window. That's what's on the floor here. So what I did is I cut cut the plywood to to uh, meet the frame in a window, of which it'll be held in by what holds the current screens in. And I put the box fans down on top of this plywood. Okay, try to get them centered. And what I'll do is I will pull the fans up and leave the front grill on the plywood and use that as a template for cutting the plywood and then attaching the fans to the plywood from there. As you can see I do have one fan upside down. This makes it easier to turn the top one on and off. It's a three it's a three three speed fan. Both of these. Uh, very low power consumption. And this will become my my attic fan in the window. Okay now as you can see I have lifted the box fans off and left the front uh, screen on. This will be my template to drill holes. Uh, there's I'm an amateur I gotta get this camera lens out of the way. The cap. Anyhow uh, see there's holes. Okay all the way around so what I'm going to do is use this as a template to cut the hole and holes to for the screws. And I'll be using sheet metal screws that have come through from the opposite side of the plywood through that screen so it's still protected if someone gets into it from the outside with the windows open. And it'll screw into the uh, box. Okay. See there's holes that's okay and that's that's the way I'm going to mount these uh, fans onto this plywood okay this is a window I'm going to install <clears throat> the uh, whole house window fan in let's call it that uh, basically that's an outside storage area screened in partially closed in I'm going to open the window and once I get the fans in there it'll fill the whole window and it, it currently has no screen but I'm going to put screen on the uh, uh, box on the fans let me show you uh, what I've got going here okay I've gotten uh, actually this is roof sheeting uh, you know plywood's gotten expensive nowadays what can I say so anyhow I I have taken that cut that to the size of the window and I've used the uh, fan screens that came on the box for a template. Okay, and I put that down for a template, <clears throat> of which I also noted the holes in the. Uh, let me put it on top of the screen here so you can see. If if you if you look closely, you'll see holes. That's that's where this is attached to the fan itself okay and I use that as a template 
and this is and I've already put this wood in the window and it does fit the all I have to do is just snap it in there so now I am in the assembly process what I did is I took this the screws out of the box from the fan and I took that into the hardware store okay this is the small screw is the uh, one that came with the fan and I just took that as as a size comparison into the hardware store and I picked up some longer sheet metal screws those are one inch the purpose is I came through from the back side of the wood okay and it's going to go through the uh, screen here the uh, white white mesh and screw on into the box and that's the way it'll be held on onto the wood I'm going to have two fans so now I'm in the assembly process. I'll get it put back together and then I'll uh, update you. Okay, now I have the uh, fans mounted onto the wood. That's going to go in, into the uh, window. And as you can see, I did put screen on there, which I left surplus on there, even though it's uh, kind of sandwiched. Well, it is sandwiched between the, uh, the fan and the wood but just in case I need to attach it better I have left enough space to where I can put a uh, like a furring strip or some type of a molding around it to help secure that screen should need be and as you can see I do have one upside down that just makes it e easier to turn on and off these are Lesco box fans uh, three speed uh, let me turn this over and you can see Okay, this is the side view of it. See. And I'm going to lay it down flat so you can see what the other side looks like. And then I'll get it put in the window and do it and do some more video here. Okay, this is would be the view from the outside looking in. What it would look like. Okay. Uh, so let me put it in the window. Get it all set up and attached and all that bit okay I have placed the uh, fans in the window in fact it's kind of interesting uh, the type of screen that goes on this window which it did not have uh, I actually was able to cut the plywood to fit right into that frame so it's kind of neat uh, what I've got here is that where the, the if it had a screen it would slide up underneath this lip and this clip would hold it and this clip would hold it and it goes up under the lip so anyhow that this is my whole house fan alternative to air conditioning we'll see how it gets until the moisture gets too high this is here in sunny Florida on the west coast uh, central Florida so uh, anyhow you know I was going to plug an amp meter in, into it and see what it draws uh, yeah, maybe I'll do that, but uh, let me turn it on. Let's say they're three feed spans, three feed, three speed, I can't say it, fans. And like I said, I've got the one upside down for ease of turning on. And then when, when I run it, I feel it's best, from what I've read, to uh, run them both. Otherwise, it's going to defeat itself, it's going to pull air in through one and out the other. So that's low speed at present. Let me turn it on high. It does have a pitch to it. Alright, that's high speed. But I've walked through the house, and of course this being a Florida room, it almost defeats the purpose in this room. But I actually turning it on I, I, I do feel a good breeze to my back through this window behind me when I walk through the house and it does pull air I actually closed up everything and uh, had just 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 a bedroom window open it, it it's got a good draw of air through there so it should work I'm gonna put an amp meter on it and see what it's doing and uh, anyhow this is the uh, alternative to air conditioning
attic fan this is more cost productive say fifty six dollars you're out the door put it together okay I have placed a uh, watt amp meter on this just to see what it's drawing you know for anyhow it's uh, the fans are off right now so I got 122 volts uh, 0 watts 0 amps turn it on high I've got 209 watts and both fans running 1.71 amps 1.71 1 amps one fan running on high speed. I'm sorry, both fans running on high speed. Okay. The fans are on low speed. Yeah. Low speed. About 148 watts, 1.21 amps. So it doesn't really increase it that much, but still, still under a 2 amp draw. The only other option, which I will do, is I'll put a timer where it plugs in the wall to turn it on and off automatically during certain times of day. And from everything I read and gather, the best time to uh, run these are in the morning before it gets hot outside and in the evening when it cools off. So anyhow, there it is. Alternative to air conditioning. Okay, this video, I am making a whole house fan, like a uh, attic fan, placed in a window to save expense. I will be using uh, two 20 inch box fans from Lesco and placing it in the window and the purpose is for cooling to suck the heat out of the house at night and cool the house down I've got an old 1967 house with the uh, awning crank out type windows and it does have central heat and air but I'm just trying to be thrifty for an alternative to uh, air conditioning uh, the uh, box fans draw or push about 2,000 cubic feet per minute and when you do the calculations on my home I can put two box fans in this window and circulate the air and being the awning crank window what my plan is is I can just put it on the inside of this window it'll have screen it currently doesn't that that windows that window exits to an outside 